So now we're leaving Taos River and we are heading to Marvaville. Yay! Yo, we've been looking forward to this for long. For eh? a long time, yeah, for a long time. We just left Toast River and um, we're heading for Marvaville. But I'd like to explain to you what our trip consists of. Uh, we are going to, we left Strand this morning early as you saw in the dark. And we are going up with the N1, it's a road we've traveled many times. But then we're going to turn off just a, a couple of kilometers other side, um, Lanesburg. And uh, then we're going to take a gravel road up through to Marvaville. And we're going to be spending the evening in Marvaville. But we're also going to be exploring the whole area around Marvaville, Loxton, Victoria, West, Bridgetown, those areas. So there's quite a few places we're going to be spending this week in. And it's a new area of the Karoo, which I think we're really going to enjoy. And I hope you enjoy it with us. Wow, this is a pretty formation, yeah, eh? Look at the colours. Yeah. Oh. Can you believe we're getting off of this road, the N1? Oh. Marvaville, here we come. Not a moment too soon. Too I, soon. Thought the, I thought the only gate was closed. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Gravel again. Oh, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, just the N1 done. is just horrible. <laughs> Hi. I'm telling you, I'm so glad we're off of it now. Now we can enjoy ourselves. Yes, come, I want to see sheep. I have been looking forward to this route of yours for a long time now. Yes. So I have high expectations. <laughs> four weeks waiting for it now. Right. <laughs> It's a bit dry, eh? Bone dry. Wow. I wonder when water last flowed here. I think with the last amount of rain they had a couple of months ago. You think? Yeah. The whole crew had a lot of rain, eh? The earth just soaks it up, eh? Yep, it does. I just think the formation is amazing. It's incredible, and look how it's crumbling though, eh? Oh, it's splitting and pieces are falling off and this is those millions of years vibes again yeah <laughs> and now this looks as if it could have been someone's home yeah because there on the side you can see there's a bit of light shining through must have been a window of some sort but yonks ago you see they used some of those rocks those flat ones that we just saw now. Build that. Yeah. Oh, fantastic!
They stand quite tall, eh? Yeah, a little springbok. Hey. <gasps> now you know Did why they're called springbok, Did eh? Did you see how high that one yeah. went? Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Gorgeous landscape. Huh? Telling you. That's why we keep coming back, eh? Came cruising up the nice gravel road and we spotted this cute little sign of a steenbuck. Too gorgeous. Yeah. Such detail. It is, eh? And this is the gate and the farm is called Skoorsteen. Skoorsteen. I wonder where the Skoorsteen is. Cute. Very. I'm going to pan around and I want to show you the whole area that we're driving through right now on our way to Maribyrnong. And the fun fact we'd like to share with you is that this area resembles Arizona and Nevada so much so that American production companies come and produce ads and movies here um, in the Maribyrnong area because it looks so much like those areas and apparently the people can't even notice the difference once those, once those productions have been shot. Yeah, that's, that's crazy, It's eh? incredible. And also, that's why you, you did mention to me that there's a few farms in the area that are named, named after those states. Arizona yeah. and Nevada, yeah. We haven't seen any, no. but I read it, yeah. Yeah, it's fun to know. Yes. One day when we're traveling through those states in America will compare it to this video <laughs> <laughs> and see if they are correct see if they're correct <laughs> and we'll give you feedback <laughs> now this is something one would not expect to see driving down a gravel road in the middle of the Karoo <laughs> really interesting sight I must say and it's a lot bigger than what I thought look at this it's even got shoes on. <laughs> this is someone with a sense of humor, all right. I love it. Yeah. We've, since we've been doing this, these trips through the Karoo, that time past Sutherland and that, we noticed these stones packed at the bottom of the fences like this to stop the jackals and stuff from getting into the sheep. And now, yeah, you can see why. Look here, yeah, someone dug through underneath. Look at the prints. Yeah, yes, yeah, the little footprints. Now, this was not, this is quite a while back. But they've put stones in again to try and stop them from going wow. through here. Incredible, eh? Yeah. That's why they put this guy up here to protect uh, the fence. Uh, uh, I think it's a lady. Oh, a lady, okay. Sorry, sorry, ma'am. Now that. It's so unexpected. <laughs> now there you see the church steeple just sticking out of Merveville. I'm hoping what I'm planning now is going to work. That as we come up over this hill you can see that church. I hope so too because it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Look at that. Amazing. 
Amazing. Coming off of our first piece of gravel road, back onto the tar. And it looks like it's just a kilo or two and we will have arrived. We will have arrived in Merveville. So this is Merveville. This is a beautiful church. Isn't it just? Wow. Look how it's built to this it's stone, eh? Beautiful. Look at this spectacular church. It's amazing. Now. Are we are going, here's the bell. Look at this, incredible. Look, here's the bell that we just rang. You see, there's the hammer that hits on the bell when the when the time goes off at half past or at whatever time it is, say three, four o'clock when it chimes. That hammer hits the bell. When they ring the bell, it swings back and forth. Incredible. So this is. I just want to explain to you now. I, I got more or less an understanding. These are the the faces. There's the face. One face here, one face over there, and one face over there. That's the face of the clock with the minute hand and the hour hand. And this is the when, when the minutes go by, this turns and makes the clock work. Every time, and there's a weight up there that controls this. Every time the bell has to go off, this gets into working every half an hour or so, which, whichever time it is, got to make the bell go off. Very complicated. <laughs> and then, oh yes, you see this little lever over here, like a crank? They've got to wind it up every two weeks to make it work. It's similar to Big every, Ben. Every four days. Every four days. Every four days they're going to wind it up. Each. 18 times. 80. 80. 80. 80. Eight zero. 80 times. Wow. <laughs> That's a good workout. No wonder you're in such good shape. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately the clock is not working at the moment. They're waiting for parts for it. Well, it's well over 100 years old. So, But it's still in good condition. Eh? Incredible. Okay, I'm going up here to see the view of the town. <laughs> okay. Wow. Ongelooflijk weer. Sure. <clears throat> this was now at the top of the church tower. Here. Yeah. 
fitness. There's the little quid. This is amazing. Look at the view from here. Wow. Incredible, eh? Wow. Look at this. I don't know if you will see Curtis, but he managed to get someone to take him up to the church tower. I don't think you'll see him. My Zoom is just not good enough. Wow. Oh, you must be overjoyed. Now this is the key that unlocks the church. <laughs> I'm telling you, it reminds me of those prison keys. It's massive. And this is the door it goes into. Look. Wow. Wow. Now this was a brilliant experience by this church. The lady's name is Zina. She um, took me through a a tour of the church which other people have never taken me up to the tower the bell the whole toot i'm telling you amazing what an experience stunning church and also what i like is that i've never been up a steeple never seen the clock um never saw how she rings the bell if she had to hang on to that thing it would lift her right up <laughs> and she is so small she is so small yeah and you had to come to Marvaville to experience that. And the fact that she played the organ for me was so nice. And she plays beautifully, beautiful, doesn't she? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Especially one that the old type of organ, so nice. Eh? So do you you don't know the book club, the Afrikaans series? No, I don't know it at all. That was shot here. I don't fully understand why. I think there's some. It's based on some truth. Okay. Maybe some fiction, but um, yeah, interesting, eh? That is interesting. So it was, it was quite, quite bustling. A, it was quite a popular story, I remember them Very, advertising. Very, I think yeah. there have been three series. Yeah. And also, um, it falls under Beaufort West's municipality. Oh, right? really? So, our accommodation, the lady I booked through lives in Joburg. Okay. But Samson is in charge here and he will be waiting but i need to give him a call if you think we're close what's the cottage's name cindy's cindy's cottage oasis okay oh yes the marvel mall and the book club restaurant oh I wow think we, we must be close yes Yeah, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Hi. Amazing. There it is, Cindy's Cottage. Oasis, yes. Oasis, yeah. Let me just try and call Samson again. Okay. So we just called Samson to come and unlock for us, or to open for us. Oh, look at the big door. Wowzer. Wow. And this is, if I'm correct, oh, there he is. Yes. Okay, cool. Is the dog wet or does it look like it that? It just looks like that. Wow! <laughs> what a good dog. Yeah. Hi, Samson. Hello. How are you? What are you? I'm good, I'm good. Okay. You've got to go find the dog now. <laughs> uh, wow.
This is us. Is this Oasis? Yeah. Well, I don't. Oh, I don't know. You'll show us. Yes. Let me just. I'll just pull in under deck here. Yeah? This is the Oasis. Where we are staying in Merveville at Cindy's Cottages. This is such a cool place. How's the defy? <laughs> man, oh man. This is so old school. What is in here? Oh, this is the bathroom. <laughs> nice. Now it's got two bedrooms. It's a massive kitchen, a lounge area for us to chill. Sonia can play us the piano. I see there's a, a porch here as well. It's two bedrooms with double beds. Now let me explain to you. Samson is the guy that met us here, who runs the place. And he's put on hot blankets for us already. They've been switched on to warm up because it's pretty cold here. I can feel it's going to get cold here tonight. So we've decided this is the room we're going to use. And um, the beds are warm already. <laughs> I'm spoiled, let me tell you. This is so cool. Let me see if I can get out here. Oh, this is right onto the street. Look. <laughs> wow. So you can't come in here no more. They've closed it off. But this is so... So nice. Now I better get everything organized because we want to go to our Sundowner Hill. We like small Look at this place. No problem. This is such a cool place. Massive. It's the garden. There's other places here that one can stay at. Massive tree. Well, there's no water, so there's no swimming time. So we're on our way to the top of that hill. We're going to have to motor it to get there because the sun's already starting to set. It's still in the sun. we in the shadows down here. Yeah, so. And it's called Letterkop. Letterkop. So let's hope we can get to Letterkop before the sun is gone. Yes. Thank heavens they've put some of this cement some places, eh? Oh, the, road. the sun is gone now, but hopefully we can still get the sun, the colours. Wow. But uh, some of the pieces that aren't paved with concrete uh, are quite bad. But uh, I, don't, I don't know if there's a shorter way to get there. Yeah, I think from town there should be because it's right above town. 
but we don't know the road. So we missed the sunset because we took the wrong road. Still an exciting road. Yep. Hopefully we can still get up there from town side. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Ah, it's a pity we missed that, eh? Yes. Oh, it's okay. We travelled far today. Arrived late. Yeah. Colors are amazing. I think we'll still get some. Don't you worry. I hope so. We might just have to ask some of them. Yeah. Are we back on the road already? Yeah. Oh, cool. We'll be back in town in no time. Yes. Now we don't normally travel at night, but we decided to hell with this. We're coming back. We've got to see this place at the top yeah <laughs> yeah we might miss the sunset altogether but we said we're gonna do it we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it we didn't buy the JC for nothing <laughs> and pack in the glasses exactly <laughs> so here's the gate again which we thought was wrong <laughs> which turns out to be the right place Can't they make a shorter road to reach the top there? <laughs> I was, I, yeah, I'm blown away that it, it's such a long way around. Had we just known though, we could have prepared. We could have left a lot earlier. Nobody mentioned that it's so far. I suppose we could have asked too. I thought, oh, well, it's right here above it's the by, church. It's by the, above the town, yeah. About 500 meters and we're there. Wow, I'm telling you those colours are incredible. Beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Pretty dark out here. I'm at the edge of the cliff here. I don't know how well you're going to see it. But there's the town. That's where the town is, I'm just adjusting the light. But yeah, that's the town and that's the sunset. Beautiful sunset. And it's load shedding, so there's only lights on here and there, those who have got backup. For that view over there. Yes. Show them. <laughs> Check out that sunset. That's why we came. Wow. We just had to do it. Look, it's the reflection in the bonnet even there. Eh? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, oh it's, it's beautiful. Stunning. Let's okay, see. let's see this. How much it shook. Yeah, <laughs> they would open it in the car. Yay. Good job. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, the glasses. Hey. Listen to that sound. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Oh, it's it. I thought it's a vehicle. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> the bubbles are making. Sound like a 4x4 four four coming up the road. <laughs> there we go. You know what's the most amazing of all? Yeah. It's only day one. Only day one, yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. Cheers to Maribel. 
And cheers to that sunset. Yes. Cheers. <laughs>、oh. Yeah, you know how nice this is. We're nice that we had. It's the spot. I haven't had quite this in a while. Ago, Stunning. Now, this is what we have to drive home in because we try to catch the sunset. I'm super excited. Check, yes, another, another one that just disappears. <laughs> <That was. laughs> Hello! <laughs> We've just arrived back home after our adventure out in the dark on the Marvaville Mountain. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was quite fun actually.、Uh, back and forth, back and forth, getting lost, not knowing where to go. And Sonny's just made us some lovely、um, buns. So, yeah, they are salami and cheese rolls. That's not their full name though. Why? What's the name? Correct name is salami and cheese load shedding roll. <laughs> yes. We are. We arrived back home and load shedding started at six o'clock, and here we are in the dark. But I must say, this is so authentic with the, the, these, what do you call them? Lanterns.、Um, lanterns, yes. It's amazing. Oil lamps? No, they're lanterns.、Oh, okay. They're lanterns, yeah. Load just, shedding in Marvel. Load shedding in Marvel with our supper. <laughs> so, after a long day and a pretty productive day, I would say, a pretty busy day, I would like to say, Thanks for joining us, and then we're going to see you in the next one.